let's think about the concept of like the sun and the moon. I went to a funeral. At the yesterday. funeral, there was the moon on top of the church. It was really crazy. But then I told myself, there's a nigga in Africa right now looking at the same moon. There's only one moon and one sun. But we all see the same sun and the same moon. What does Africa mean to you? Life. For those like like myself. Life. Africa means life to me. For any for any black man or woman, black person that's different in Africa, what is the importance of them going to see the origin? So I always say this, right? Before I even answer that question, I'm gonna say this. Like the one thing I get mad about with my friends in America that are black black Americans, mm-hmm. my black my black kings. The distance. They're so separate from the system. You mean you mean like uh, Africans and African Americans? No, like like a- Americans in America, Black Americans. Yes. Like for example, you don't know what. Do you know where you're from in Africa? That bothers me because I do not know. Do you know where you're from? Do you know where your ancestors are from in Africa? I don't know. That bothers me. But you know what's funny? I know where I'm from. I hate the fact that you don't know where you're from. Now, do you hate the fact that I don't know where I'm from, or do you hate the fact that? I do not know how to find out where I'm from. No, I hate the fact that... Uh, actually, let me rephrase that. I hate the fact that the system has disconnected you from, from your roots. So let me ask you this. Because I, mean, I have a lot of friends that are Africans. Not a lot, but I have a few. And sometimes I feel like Africans look at people that are from America, black Americans, it's like... They, they kind of are upset with us that we don't know where we're from. But we do not know... I can search so far back, and it still goes back to Georgia so, and Florida. Okay, but I'm going to tell you why. Okay. If you're black in America and if you're black in Africa, the system is fucking us up. So when I'm in Africa, right, the only things I see, I see, I see a black woman. I've told you this today, twerking. There's no representation of a black man in Africa. Well, the black man is violent. He shoot guns. He kills. The representation of black Americans in Africa is negative. So, a question. No, no, I'm a, before you. Oh, my yes, baby, bro. Yes, yes, yes. My baby, bro. Right? Women, men in Africa, negative. In, 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 in America, my favorite commercials. Do you want to sponsor Prodigy for $14 a month? He drinks dirty water. All this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? There's no representation of Africa in a positive image in America. What the white man does, he inserts paranoia and we hate each other. So when the African man comes to uh, when the African man comes to uh, America, right? Yes. Guess what he does? I got my kids. I got my family. All these niggas do is smoke weed and fucking twerk and shoot guns. He gonna tell his kid, "Don't fuck with those Americans." Not because he hate Americans. He wanna protect his family. Even when he get the job, he's, because the system in Africa taught him that you're not nice to him. This in just like in America, it told me that yo, you drink dirty water, you got Ebola. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. That's what they do to us. So do you feel like the system is, is they're still separating blacks, African Americans, Black Americans? Have you, uh, the, the black Lives Matter. Example. They're trying. They're trying to separate our connection to Africa all the time. It's it's the goal. How do we fix that? What is like more conversation, less hatred, black people uniting worldwide and talking more not saying i'm i'm dominican i'm not black i'm from dc i'm not black i'm spanish the so first like saying color like, and white no for real i'm being really honest yeah i'm not black i'm afghanistani i'm not black i'm spanish my man said some dumb shit a couple days ago he said i'm like black but i'm like spanish man i said nigga you stupid excuse my language it's different cultures he's a black woman too if you're hispanic you're a black woman you so the, the family said hey bro i'm sorry if you were in slavery or in oppression back in the day, whoever is into this shit, the fountain said color and white. You could be Mexican, Afghanistani, Native American. You're still picking cotton, nigga. You're picking cotton with me, too. I'm being honest. And if you could be a house nigga, an outdoor nigga. You're still a nigga. Do you still like, it's like, okay, like, you know, in America... There's issues between like light skin and dark skin. All over the world. It's all over the world? It's all over the world. In Fran- when I'm in France, I struggle with it. When I'm in Africa, I struggle with it. If you're light skin in Africa, you're winning. Just like over here. If yeah. you're white in Africa too, sometimes you're winning too. It's not. So, like, the, the whites system- in Africa, excuse me. 
Is that like only because like I'm, I'm only going off what I see on television and what I read in books and things and knowledge that I do understand? Mm -hmm. Is that like only South America, South Africa? Excuse me, or is that like all over? Cause I know also you were saying like like the Asians they're trying they're taking over like. So I'm gonna say this: Africa is the most welcoming place in the universe. Africa is the most welcoming place in the world. That's why Asians and white folks are taking over our continent. We let everybody to the cookout. L let me rephrase that. Even no, black, no, no, no. even said, black folks in no, America, the cookout. we bring everyone to the cookout. The cookout. Black folks in America, y'all are Africans. Y'all bring. I'm sorry. Y'all bring everyone to the cookout. I'm being honest. Hey, before we continue, because um, can you let everybody know your name, how they can find your social media things? My name is Prodigy Prodigy Clothing. Um. It's kind of random we're doing this random interview and stuff like that right now. You know what I'm saying? I should have pushed, I should have polished up a little bit. I just took my hair out. But uh, you can find me at Project of Clothing. Uh, Project with an E, P R O D I G E, clothing, all one word, on all social media platforms. If you want to support my nonprofit organization, it's Project of Care, that org. Any donation, anything you want to support, as far as that, just go all to the kids, man. I, you know. Why is that important to you? Uh, Project of Care, the nonprofit. Growing up, um, growing up in a tent. And sleeping on the streets and bus stops, man. I don't Seriously? Want, yeah, I don't want no kids to live like I did. Um, asking for food and, you know what I'm saying, like... And one thing about me, I've never been shy. I ain't never been shy, y'all. When I was... When I was... When I was... On, like I said, when I slept in the tent, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, used, to be at, I used to be at school, right? I left high school. I have I left football practice. And nobody knew my life. Nobody knew what I've been through. Dead ass. I would go to, like... So, in order for me... In order for me to eat dinner... I would go to a restaurant and be like, I'm sorry, can I get some dinner tonight? They would laugh at me. They would be like, you want some free food? Really? Did they not understand the, just, they have to, to ask. I asked. I never begged. No, 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 not that part, that part, that part. Not the big part. You asked. You chose not to just take. Why do you not just like, even at your hardest times of life, why do you ask and not just take? No, so. I, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I took a lot because I had to survive. Mm. But I took from Giant. I took from Walmart. I took from big companies. I never stole from anybody who had the same as me or less than me. I rob. I, I used to rob rich people. If you're rich, you're gonna get robbed. Back then, I was a teenager. I was an adult. You know, what I'm saying I had to survive. Can I see a question? Yeah. Um, we were talking earlier outside of vibing, and you say one of your friends, they know they're very wealthy, rich with money at the. Uh, golf place mm -hmm. and they disrespected a woman and you felt like it was because they had money now what is how do you feel about how black women are represented and how they should be oh my god great fucking question man so when it comes to black women right god is a black woman I'm gonna tell you why I know people don't really laugh at me and stuff God is a black woman. Bang. Shout out to my tribe. Shout out to the motherfucking oh, Americans. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Those don't know what I mean. The tribe you said, say it again. Uh, Kopki Bagante. I'm from Amba Mileke. Amba Mileke. Say it again. Amba Bagante, yeah. Okay. That's my village. And one thing about my, my tribe and Native Americans, women are the least in our cultures. If I was married to Owen and my son was needed a wife, my wife would make the decision if he marries her or not. She can give a perspective. In our tribe, women are leaders. We were the first tribe. Like I tell people all the time, I'm from Wakanda for real. Kopkin Bagante was the first tribe to have women's general. Say it again. We were the first tribe to have women's general. Do you know the name of the tribe? Uh, Kopkin Bagante. We were the first tribe in Africa to have a woman leader in the army. She was leading the fucking army. Do you believe or do you think that the world would be a better place if... Uh... Women were leaders? Yes. Hell yeah. Why? You know what? Actually, I'm going to say yes and no. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to say, 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 say this, though, because I'm, I'm on a vibe. Like, but, okay, she ain't married to somebody that's a sucker, and she's not pregnant, because we know no, how that can Can I be, be honest, though? If yeah. woman... Let me tell you why. Woman gets pushed in the corner in society, right? Especially women in general women. or black women? I was going to say, woman gets pushed in the corner in general. Yes. But black women gets pushed in a special corner. The Me Too movement is not for my black women. I agree. Black women should not go in like, oh my God, because black women issues and white women issues are not the same problems. They're not. If you're a black woman and a white woman, you don't got the same issues. 
when they said we can do this, the the, the woman with the fucking you know you know picture, yes, the sir. white woman with the with the band aid, yeah. Black no, women were in slavery. Black. You know what I'm saying? The Me Too movement is not for my black my black queens. Y'all should start your own movement and your own issues. You know what I'm saying? Because like, but what 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 black Americans? I'm talking about not the ones that got this shit scraped, but like. The one that's in the street in the hood that just not not just that like niggas. Well, they support the black women and just look at them bitches and hoes. Education. How important is education to you, sir? Education is very important Pro to me. Proud of Jay. It's not even about it's not about books going to college or anything like that, so, bro. Turn around, you. Just just that right there. I am not the most little nigga in the world, but I read that. The library. Those are those are the shit. Even bro, I still got to kill a mockingbird. I read that book like four times, bro. To kill a mockingbird. It's weird as fuck. But I love that book as an immigrant. Like um even the 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 one with the South African kid. I love these books. They teach me, bro. As an immigrant, like when you when you came to America, like what was that experience like? Hard. It was hard. It was difficult. It was hard. Um Did like did you like, did you, did, did your family come with you or So let, when I came to America I spoke no English. No, I heard that English is an easy language to understand. But I feel like nothing's easy when you have to learn it by yourself. So, I'm not going to lie. I was a good... I had a good experience, though. Okay. Like, as an immigrant, I was never like, oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you a funny story. So, a couple years ago, they were like, we used to bully this nigga. And I'm like, yo, y'all bullied me? I never thought I was good because I'm going to tell you a funny story. Because I spoke no English. I was getting bullied, but I didn't know I was getting bullied. But one day in the bus... A kid smacked me upside the head. Man, I tossed him out the fucking window. I tossed him like literally like the emergency on the bus. I opened it and I threw him outside the bus. So mind you, this is my my third week in America. Police the third come, week. My third week at school. Police comes and like they're gonna arrest me. I'm confused. I speak no English. No, no, no control. Like when you came here, like you had yeah, like a uh, yeah a passport card. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to, I don't want to get too deep into it. I came here on some, um, on A's. I want to speak up what you want to speak on. No, yeah, I'm going to speak up. I came here, like, for a lot of immigrants come here on either asylum, refugees, yes. or because they're hurt. I came here on a special, something like that, on something along those lines. Uh, asylum, what, what, what you want to call it. Um, so, for me, it will, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. You know, I speak up on all the time, as you know what I'm saying, because, um, and when I came here, the situation was that, the no language was never a problem for me. I'm smart. I could always. Hold on, so she said the, the new language is not a problem. The new me. language is not a problem for me. I live in four to five different countries. I just speak Sweden, America. I just, but eventually, when you're a human, you can communicate with people, bro. When you're a human, bro, you can go to. Let's say about this, right? Let's say we go to Germany right now, me and you. All right, let's go. We go to, all of us go to Germany. Just knowing, just knowing you, as your interviews and the front porch kind of guy you are as a front porch you're gonna win because you're a human you don't see color you don't see you you're a human you know what i'm saying and even if you were like i need water all you're gonna do is say this you know what i'm saying certain things in the world as long as you're a human you can get by you know what i'm saying as when it's the extra shit man we so let me ask you this um i'm a military baby i look around the world I, I, a lot of my friends from all over you know do you feel like United States, they're lost to the understanding of how the rest of the world lives as far as trying to gain a society? Or do you feel like out here it's just about money and pleasure? So, this is my thing. Anybody who lives in America, I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the system in America. That's my enemy. The system is the one I'm mad at. I'm never mad at my people because it's... We're very conditioned to be in this country in America for the first of the month. Today's the first. Today's the second. I paid my bill two days ago. All month, I got to worry about the next month too. In Africa, we don't worry about that. What do you mean? What I, I mean is, so we're conditioned in America. People are conditioned from an early age, from when you're born to when you die. To work, 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 work for the system. Feed, That's feed, America. Feed, feed. Yeah. That's America for you. That's not all the rest of the world? No, it's not. What do you mean? Like, for those that do not know, or even for myself, like... 
Prodigy? Young young brothers like you and I and young sister like you young sisters. Two thousand dollars in America is a million francs in Cameroon. I don't understand. Two thousand dollars, and if you take two thousand, so you mean right? like it, it mean like in Cameroon, like a okay. million dollars is nothing? Yeah, I mean no, no, no. I mean like a million dollars only lasts like a, like a month. Depending who you are. Depending who you are, do you spend? Do you like iPhones? Do you like fucking Jordans? You're gonna spend that money quick. Do you like trips? Do you, do you that fuck with a child every day? I forgot that's nice restaurants. We got fuck with a child too. We got McDonald's. We got Chick Fil A. We got Hyatt. We got all that. But do y'all have plantains? Huh? Plantains. We got all that. Let me say, everything comes from Africa. I don't want to. I, I I be on the. I be saying this. I don't want to check temperatures. When you're rappers, hey. there's a chain. That big Prodigy? diamond chain. Okay. Yeah. Check the temperature. No, I, I want, want you, know. you to check it. I don't want to check the temperature because when I, if I check your temperature, it means I want to beef with you. No, no, not beef. But like, uh, when I say check the temperature, let them know when it's cool outside and when it's warm. Yeah, bro, I'm not going to lie to you because I'm, Africa right now is full of Asians that have white people. Right now. Like America. Full of Asians. That, but you know what's funny? The system is saying, y'all black Americans, them Africans hate y'all. So you don't want to go over there. Uh, and Niggas that's... go to Cancun. Niggas go to Cancun on vacation. Niggas go to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. You know, so a question, home. like, you know, I'm African American, you know what I'm saying? My family was, mm -hmm. I was came on a way to get out of cheer and everything like that. So my question is this. Um, as an African, do, do you all, like, look down on black Americans? Nope. Or, or is it more of like you're trying to inspire? Can I be honest? I'm a, I mean, at least for you. I'm going to say this right now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna speak for all. Africans. And this is a, this is a question I have for my for my personal self. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna answer this for all Africans right now. I'm speaking. I don't like to speak for all people. Speak for yourself, sir. I'm speaking for all. No, right now I'm speaking for all Africans. Yes, sir. African people do not hate Americans. Because a lot of times we feel like y'all don't like us. No, no, they're conditioned because in that in in my continent, in my continent. Please listen to this. I live in Cameroon. I'm being really frank with y'all. We're being conditioned to hate y'all. We're being conditioned in Africa not to like you. Y'all being conditioned not to like us either. The white man is such paranoia among us and we hate each other. Af Africans people are the most loving niggas in the world. I'm being really honest with y'all right now. African people do not hate anybody. But if you talk to that African though, outside of work, you're gonna realize how much you have in common with him. You're gonna realize how much you have in common. But you just you you, hey, what most people that have beef with Africans, I spoke to most most people before. Oh, I work with Africans or that African nigga. But you never talk to that African. You never ate with him. You never shook his hand. You never hugged the nigga and be like, yo, what's up, brother? You feel like communication changes the world. Everything. You know what? I got one beef with white people right now. January 6, twenty twenty one. Say again. I got one beef with white people right now. I got one January six. January six. They took over the Capitol. I wasn't invited. You talking about when they did that? Mm-hmm. If oh, yeah. They should have let us know. Let me tell you one thing. Black folks are mad too. We want to take over shit too. We want to jump over buildings and fuck shit up too. It, man, I, we in Chocolate City, bro. Can I see this? Yeah. Do you feel like if, if we would have done that, do you think that uh, we actually would have had the same outcome as the white people that did it? Do you think we would have been dead, if shot, we locked mixed, up? If we were mixed, it would have been, been the same outcome. If it was all black people... It would have been a thousand bodies being collected by the motherfucking UN. Dead United ass. Nations? Mm hmm. They would have called the UN. So many niggas, it would have been a mass murder, bro. It would have Come. been a. You know what I call the UN? It's federal land. Immigrants, black, white. I mean, I'm Hey, one more time. We're going to switch the subject. It's deep. It's deep. It's deep. They want to know your name, how they can find your social media? Mm -hmm. Oh, Project Clothing. P R O D I G E. Clothing, all one word. So, what's the difference between being bougie and bourgeois? Oh, good question. Bougie motherfuckers. I don't like bougie niggas. Bougie motherfuckers are like, they think they're better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? They want a, they want a salad fork. They want a dessert fork. They want a, a you know what I'm saying? An entree fork. So what's bourgeois? Bourgeois is like, it's, it's, it's an elegance of its own, but it's so, still accepting. So let me ask you this. Like, bourgeois, is that like you got one fork, but you know where to place your napkin at? 
guess what? It's bourgeois like this, right? It's like you got a salad fork and an entree course, but no dessert fork. But you use your, you use your, your appetizer, your entree course for the dessert fork. Because you're bourgeois. You don't got to do the most. It's still a fork. Of course, you fuck with hip hop? Rap music? It, You're in the fashion? Music changed for me, you know? Music is not for the future. Music is not for music. Uh, music is music is changed. Who music. do you listen to when nobody's around? Like, if you in your own place, in your own God. mind, like, like, you even got to say, like, the top three, like. Oh, my God. Okay, but I'll put it like this. Can I be honest? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Oh my God! I'm being exposed right now. I'm, it doesn't I'm okay have to be like like no, I'm, American artist. I'm gonna be blunt. I'm gonna be blunt with you. Fantasia. Hello, Carolina. Yeah, I love Fantasia. I'm one of Fantasia's biggest fan since American Idol. Something about like that. She's special to me, man. I'm one of. I'm a groupie. Um, other one, Drake. I hate to say it. That nigga's emotional. I love it. <laughs> He's emotional. He's emotional. I love. I like my, bro. His Drake music makes sense to me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. Like, I know it's not for everybody, but Drake. Now, like, sense. we were vibing the other day, and like, what's his name? Les from Les from Twelve. Huh? What's his name? Who that? The artist mm -hmm. that you said like I might have more. I might have my refrigerator with different foods, different things like that. Soldier boy. Oh, La Fuin. La Fuin. That's also one of my favorite artists. He's, he's like in my top five as hip-hop, though, because he's more conscious. Um, I hate to say Common, the old school Common back in the day. How do you hate to say Common? And I love Common, man. You know what I'm saying? I love Common. I love um, uh, one of my favorite rappers. I'm not going to lie. It's different for me because, like, uh, Jada Kiss. I went mm. to the verses with some slokes and uh, Jada Kiss. That was fucking amazing, bro. That was like, man... Murder wasn't it? Hey, let's play a game. I'm gonna throw some words out there. Cause mm -hmm. we had the 21 minute, 22 minute mark, and I'm 22 all day. I'm gonna throw a word, and you gotta give no long explanation. Just let them know how make, how make you feel. All right. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Mary J. I think of hills and the shoulders lean back and forth, and the that. Bacardi Gold. Uh, Bacardi Gold Rum Punch Jamaica. Club Allure. Club Allure. I think of games. Uh, game night. Washington, D.C. Black black elegance. Black black uh, royalty. Lyft. L-Y-F-T. Lyft. I think of a uh, corner store. Southeast, D.C. So, I think of... Um, damn. I think of uh, systematic racism. Love. The most high. The front porch. You. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it was on U Street. Alright, here we go. Um Ooh. I believe that when it comes to food, food is a necessity, but eating should be an experience. Bacon. Bro. At ten o'clock in the morning on a drunk on a drunk night. So I'm a fake Muslim. I I do I, I hold on, hold on, I like how you said that. It killed a thousand. I'm a fake Muslim. Like I love bacon, but I don't eat pork. <laughs> I'm not a Muslim. Usually I heard it the other way. They be like, I'm a fake Muslim. They be like, I'm not a Muslim. I'm just yeah, no, no, I know. You either be like, I, I believe in what they speak on, but I eat pork. So you just speak the other way around. Nah, but um, yeah, no pork. When I think of Islam. All right. Do you, do you know your um? Ooh, I got a good one for you. What animal represents you the most? A lion. A okay, lion. I see the lion king or though. Right here too. A lion. Why a lion? So, I'm gonna be frank with y'all. I hate to use it. People who represent themselves as lions. It's a bad. Uh, the lion is. A, he's a. He's a terrible animal, by the way. Yes. He's a terrible animal. Okay. Besides the fact that he's he strong, gives no fucks. The lions gives no fuck. Like they're lazy. You're you're okay. So when they decide to say fuck it, this fucked up. Besides, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? The reason I'm lying because of this, my mindset. If I want it, I take it. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of person I've been. Nothing was ever given to me. I took everything in my life. 
nothing this wasn't given to me the my company my nothing i had to go out there and get it right a lion when he's not hunting he's sleeping that nigga sleep like 16 hours a day for real but when the last time you slept for 16 hours i don't can't even remember but a horse sleeps like three hours and eats fucking i didn't know that a horse eats fucking grass and sleep four hours a day and it's strong as fuck so who's stronger, the horse or the lion? The lion. Now who's more violent? Or who's stronger? Ooh. So I would say this: Who got better? Like, like it's like a football player, right? It's like better speech. longevity. Uh, uh, That's I mean, one of you. I, the lion does because whoever's gonna is, the lion's always gonna win. What I'm trying to say is this: When it comes to like stats, the horse is always gonna win. You know what I'm saying? Right. Take the violence out. The horse. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let's say right now, somebody give you a million dollars. What's the first thing you're going to do? What would they give me a million dollars for? Nothing, free, nothing is free in the world. Nothing is free. Okay. You've earned your a million dollars. What am I doing? First million? Yes. What, what, what is the least expensive thing you're going to do? And I'm only saying this because I, I was in here like... Earlier today, hold on. For all y'all know, I was in vibing. You know, he showed me love, and he said something about a million dollars, and I was like, "That make a lot of sense." So, uh, what's it? Expect them to do buy buy a uh, uh, buy kids for orphans, find an orphanage, and buy them clothes, and buy them whatever they need. That's the least way I'm gonna do. No, yes, that's love, but for yourself. Buy my mama BMW. No, for I'm yourself. Bro. No, not for your mama. For you. I'm okay. I'm good. So you ain't gonna get no dollar uh, chicken sandwich. I'm good. I don't for the mom and your kids. I'm always good. I don't Once again, because we're about to close it out. What's your own social media and Project everything? Clothing, P-R-O-D-I-G-E. Um, what I would say about money, you don't die with it. There's want and there's a need. It's two different things. That's all I'm going to say. What's the importance of a man and his watch? Men and his watch, man. What is elegancy, man. You gotta something. Gotta keep a nice. You know what I'm saying. One or two. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You gotta keep a watch or two. Hey, I'm not a jewelry person, but I love myself a nice watch and a nice. As you can tell, bro. You see, my mom, my grandma bought me this. She ain't know my size. It's a little too big. But guess what, though? I love it. You know what I'm now saying. Now, when you find out the front porch and the, and this front porch, my old lady, you know what I'm saying. Hey, and buddy, I had a situation. Gonna... What was the reason that you actually chose to be like? We good. Energy. Energy. How much does energy mean to you, like in life, and just knowing of, knowing of self and people than others? Cause we got like two minutes left for this for this uh, interview. So it means a lot to me because, like, um, as somebody who like slept in the streets and been with nothing, when people approach me, their gut never lies to me. It's like a baby. Think about you. Y'all have kids, right? Yes. If I, 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 this is what I learned. When you have a baby, if you hold a baby, right, and you give it to somebody else, and the baby's like, nah. That person is evil. There's something fucked up with that person. A baby does not go to some... Baby are innocent. They're pure. So if they cry, it's like, you know what I'm saying? If they don't want to come to you, that's energy. You know what I'm saying? Everyone in the room may not... I'm not saying that if we cross you, they, they hate you. But there's some people that it will be that your mindset is not pure. What do you want DC to know about you? Not from the music side, not from the party side, not from the fashion but of our life as blacks, as our culture. What do you want our culture worldwide to know that you want to see better? Just one thing. Protect our black women and our black kids. What's the definition of a hustler? Someone who makes it happen for himself, his family, his community. It's not always about the money. You don't gotta be, it's not always about the money. You could be a hustler, you could hustle, you could, it's all about taking care Holding your holding your down. Holding yours down is what his true hustler is. Man. What's a king? A king? Uh, you always you always see what uh, coming to America? That's a king. Who won for two? <laughs> for one. <laughs> Randy got, Watson, everybody. Hey, Randy Watson. Then roots and berries. <laughs> now we got you know last thirty seconds on that. Once again, let everybody know how they can find you. Clothing before spell, I go. Spell it all out. P R O D I G E clothing, all one word. Randy Watson is the realest nigga in America. Okay. Randy Watson is the realest nigga in America. 
Can you shout out the Front Porch Radio? Man, shout out Front Porch Radio, man. Good dude. Follow, hey, man, everything he does, man, subscribe. Cash after man, tip him, subscribe to all his shit so he can keep this thing going and his movement going. You know what I'm saying? We did a fucking random interview. I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing my, my Everest. This is Everest shit, man, from back in the yeah. day. <laughs> what they do, baby? You know what I'm saying? He got me in my Everest shit out here and stuff. Look, and they, people don't see it. They be like, Southeast is full of gangsters and criminals. But the, bro, we got nurses, entrepreneurs, doctors, surgeons. On the south side, chefs. But nobody sees that side, though, because it's about crime. You know what I'm saying? They see the crime, though. They see the crime. They don't want to see the beauty in it. You know? They push the, the ugly. They don't push the beauty. They don't show the good excellence of the king and queens doing good things in the city you know it's crazy how that go like i gotta say like the matrix man is awesome if you understand it <laughs> the, the matrix is awesome when you understand it but when you don't understand it you don't understand it you know what i'm saying it's not for everybody you know people hate kanye west but personally i like kanye it's in his mind but slavery was a choice that comment was stupid <laughs> He said what? slavery was a choice. That was not a choice. <laughs> but I still love Kanye, though, regardless. You know. You see this city, bruh? These are homeowners. I'm going to give you a secret, right? 40 years ago, this was not the hood. If you look at 60 years ago, I'm an immigrant. I moved here in 1999, but I did my research. If you come here 40, 50, 40 years ago, 60 years ago, it was not the hood. It was beautiful black families raising kids. The door could be open. You can have your door open like you in Bethesda or you're in Silver's, like any other safe neighborhood. But what they did is they pushed all the black people on one corner. And they put, look, you see, there's one liquor store right there. There's no one, right? There's three in a block. When I go to Bethesda or Montgomery County, I don't see that. We only have three sitting restaurants on the south side. IHOP, Chipotle, and um, uh, Players Lounge. I don't count with the Marine Basin stuff. I don't count that. That's really more like no face. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's sad, but I see the beauty in it, man. Like I said, if we focus more like on the, uh, like I said, we don't, we don't want to have conversations. I'm a, I'm a, this is not for, I, I know you're recording this, all right? But I was in Bethesda, Maryland a couple weeks ago. And I said, I live, in, I live in Southeast. The white girl told me, oh my God, I hate that side of town. It's so full of criminals. You know what I said? Fuck you, bitch. I never call women bitches. I'm not a person they respect women, but her, I had to respect them. Because she respect my whole community. My whole fucking community. We got police officers up that live here. We got soldiers that live here. Entrepreneurs, when you say fuck that side of town, I'm gonna say fuck you too. Come on, man, look at this. We're driving, but people own houses here, man. People own real estate, but they wanna focus on the crime. I know the ugly side of it. I grew up here. You know, it gets me angry. So that's why, that's why I said a nonprofit. I said, you know what? Instead of talking too much, I'm gonna make a change. I, I was like, instead of wrapping my mouth too much, let me make a difference. You know, conversations, man, help. Let's help each other more, man. I promise you, bro. Talking to one another help a lot more. What do you think that, what do you, what, what do you want them to know about Southeast that they're not speaking of? The ones you're talking about. The tap, the talent this place has, man. You see these kids? Look, come on, bro. This is Southeast. Look at these kids. The talent, the talent this place, man. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. This is the best thing in the world. Besides my country, now nah, I love my country. It's full of, I love my country. I love Cameroon. Man, full of money makers. Um, this place, DC, bro. I be seeing kids dancing on the train, my nigga. <laughs> they put their hands behind their back. <laughs> but I bet you if that kid was in Vegas, at the Caesar Palace, he'd make millions. Cause ain't no difference back here in the, the Jabba Walkies. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no difference. It's all situations, man. Money speak bullshit walks, man. Mommy right here, I'm gonna make a difference. If she have money, she won't be driving this car. She have a limousine company. She have workers driving for us. It's access. 
us immigrants, we don't have access. Let me tell you, let me rephrase that. Black in America don't have access, and immigrants don't have more of an access. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's why immigrants fight double. And there's a miscommunication. Oh, y'all want, we don't hate, no, dog, there's a miscommunication. People that come to America got a village to feed. You know what I'm saying? I can speak for myself. I got a village to feed. I can speak for nobody in this country. As an immigrant, I got a village to feed. You mean like back home? Back home. I got cousins depending on me. I got siblings. Think I'm in America. They don't see the hard side of it, but they don't see, oh, you in America, give us money. But guess what? I can't tell them the bullshit. I can't bitch and complain, nigga. Excuse my language. You feel like there's more opportunities here in America than where you're from? Yeah. This opportunity, yep. I don't give. A, if you're from a third world country, it could be Asia, uh, South America, Haiti, Jamaica, America. There's an opportunity because if America has opportunities here, bro. It's opportunities here. I know people that came to America just to work a basic job, and you know what I'm saying, and make this shit happen, and it works for them. They did that best in America and they work at McDonald's. It works for them. What's your goal, man? Like what do you want to do? What do you want them everyone that you know back home? Even here to know your dream. Where are you trying to take it to? My dream is bigger than me and, my, and everybody. That's the thing about me, bro. My dream is bigger than me. The hardships I had in life, like, come on man, I work with kids and my dream is bigger than me, man. If I can just if we take care of one another, man, life will be a better place. All right, let me say something, right? We're in this Uber, this Lyft, right? I just want to take an example. She got pain in her life. I bet you if we talk to her, you got pain in your life. If we talk, if we if we start and talk to one another more and have more conversation and help one another, that's my, that's my dream. No one is our enemy. Black people are not the enemy. Bro, I'm gonna say the sad thing. I was at I was at a Dominican party. All right, my my friend is Mexican, right? I went to a Dominican party. Somebody walked in the room, and then my friend said, "Oh, we don't like that kind of." But because he was dark, he was black, Dominican. Come on, bro. That should not be happening in the world. Colorism is happening everywhere. I'm like, dog, y'all both Dominican. He's just blacker than you. You don't like him. I even found out that shit happens in them countries also. It's everywhere, man. My dream is bigger than me. I can't explain in words. Something like Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what's the ladies out here like, man? You gonna find out? <laughs> ah. Hey, once again, let everybody know how they can contact you, your name, how they can find your social media, email. Odige, P R O D I G E. Clothing, all one word though. So that's the bridge. You see, come on, bro. You're on vacation. You gotta look. This is this the beautiful part of this city right here, man. When you buy your boat, you know what I'm saying? When Navy Yard is over there, the, the baseball stadium is over there. And that's uh, that's the boat out right there. Um, What's the connection with fashion? Last question. Huh? Your connection with fashion. Why does fashion mean so much to you? What, what I do me. means a lot to me because, can I be honest? I'm not yeah. like a fashion guru. With what I do, right? As a being from where I'm from, like my slogan says, American fashion meets African heritage. Ooh. I never created a button up shirt. I never created pants. I just took African fabric and made pants with them. Um, that's why I, mean. I, I want to educate people to, I want to educate people about my content through fashion. That's what I want to do. Education as far as like, you know, Africa, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever they can get out of it. Nah. If somebody coming to DC, let's say, let's say, okay, right now the sun is up. When the sun go down by 10, 30, 12, 1 ish, what should they go to to have a good vibe? What should the ladies go to to find a real player? So, what, should, what should the players so find a good lady at? With DC, right? It depends the kind of person you, it depends about your vibe. Okay. It depends, you, DC got a lot of personalities. Like me, right? Some days I go to jazz on Wednesdays. 
Jazz, what that's that? At MGM. That's a lot of, what, what, what part of DC is that in? Uh, that's, uh, that's Oxon Hill. That's PG County. Oxon Hill. But it's like border. It's like okay, southeast. Okay, so PG County yeah. borderline with DC. So southeast, yeah. That's Prince George's, right? PG. We call, sure. it, we call it War 9, Professional Gangster County. They be shooting, they be shooting up there, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, it depends. So, you got top, for example, right? I'm going to say this. Someone like you, for example, just knowing the kind of person you are, front porch, you're very vibrant, but I can feel like when you're down, you might want something chill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might want something like, you know what I'm saying, mellow. You got you could do like a jazz club. Yeah. You could do yeah. an art show. Art shows, yeah. most definitely, you man. You could do an art show. You could do um. So art, so it's like, it, 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 like art. Is it, is it spots in DC for our culture that's on that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Very much. Is that like Eight Street or U Street? No, the, all I know is even in Southeast. Hold on, I'm gonna check with y'all. We got art galleries I, in I Southeast. I keep seeing like, everything go from like letters A through Z. And I ain't seen A through Z. I only seen H through U. So it's like a who, like a Yahoo. You, you didn't drop far enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey. Nah, nah, there's art over in DC. Even in Southeast, we got Anacostia. We got Southeast. There's a lot of art galleries on the South Side and U Street. On you know, we got Gallery O. Um, I know, I know, I'm familiar with a lot of them because, uh, I mean, I like art. So, question: You're, you're African. Mm -hmm. Is uh, is uh, I don't know what immigrants right thing, but Africans is is, is is it a strong amount of Africans in the DC community? Is that like, you know, Miami's a lot of Haitians and Cubans, with Caribbean. There's a lot of is there are there a lot of uh, Africans in the DC area? Not so much. Um, there's a lot of Hispanics and Africans outside of DC, such as like um, I'm gonna say Langley Park, Silver Spring, and that's like right on uh, the outskirts. Yeah, right? like it was right outside, like not outside uh, the county. Cause I know DC a district, so it was just like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like cross the street. Exactly. <laughs> like when my, like for example, right now, um, my best friend is Mexican, Nico. One of my best friends, uh, you know what I'm saying? But um, his family live in Langley Park. They, in that community, it's all Hispanic people. But when you go up the street, it's all Africans. I'm talking from it. It could be west, east, it don't matter. But in DC, so much, I feel like, you see this side, it's all white people, right? We were just in the hood. You see how that, it changes real quick? It changes real quick. Just cross the street and then lifestyle quick. change. But, and I feel also like, it's not that, this, this is very minority. My neighbor's Hispanic downstairs. He's Hispanic. You know what I'm saying? He'd be having all the Hispanic food cooking and stuff, but he's the only Hispanic Dude, on the whole, in our whole, like, neighborhood. Let me ask you something, right? Yeah. I love food. Yeah. I think that, you know, food is a necessity, but eating should be an experience. So if somebody was to go to, you know, like, they, they were to hang out with you and everything was set up straight in Africa to have a meal or whatever you like to do, what is something they should, they should you want them to be like, your first meal, it should be this, bump the price, they should go in ahead Africa, and get it. In here? Yeah, Africa, over here, or in D.C. Or so, both. when you come to D.C., I would say one thing, don't start with American food. Don't I don't start know about mumbo sauce. No, 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 don't start about, don't start with the burgers. For real. Like, if you're from, if you if you from, if you're not from D.C., start with, like, jollof rice, empanadas, you know what I'm saying, empanadas, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. You gotta start with the international shit first. Then you gotta hit the soulful and shipping grits, the jambalaya. You gotta start from the outside and work your way in the inside. In America, I'm, that's my advice, though. I'm but the, the DC, cause I know it's like I'm from, I'm from Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not, we're not south, and uh -huh. we're not all the way up north. It's like a mid Atlantic situation. Is it hard to get like a good down south meal, like the the, the fish with the oh, grits? Like, heck yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the eggs where that thing is oh, brown with the cheese. It, and is, the it is hard to get a good meal down here from the south, bro. Stop playing. It is hard. Like it's a hit and miss, man. Like it's a hit. I mean, you got Carolina's Kitchen, and you got. But as far as I can't even say it is good. You know what I'm saying? I can't even say that shit is good. It's okay. Now, you know what I'm saying? It's sad. It, 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 you're just satisfied. Now they find a spot that make them feel great. Have a meal. Have a drink. I know uh, Allure. We went to Allure. Yeah. What's Allure like, man? It's pretty dope. But my thing about it, like DC, right? The best places in this city are the ones that are not on Google. Are the places that you don't really know about. Are the places like, look, you see this house right here? Yeah. It'd be in the basement. You can come to the fucking back. Ooh. 
Ooh. Those are the places in the city, man. We can talk about from African people, Haitians, Hispanic women. Man. So there's Haitians out here too? There, oh, there's mad Haitians out here too. Somebody say. Somebody say. <laughs> but the thing is about like this community, this good restaurant, not get the game twisted, but the holes in the walls are the best parts to go and eat, man. The holes in the walls are the best.